from the trade deadline to how we played all the way up into the Western Conference Finals, I'm very optimistic on seeing how we can pick up from there. We're a lot further than we were last year. Um, you know, guys come in and um, accepted each other, um, you know, going out to eat with each other or whatever guys are doing. And um, I think we're, we're you know, very connected, well connected, and uh, I think we'll be ready to start the ground running tomorrow. We, we saw it right away. The group was kind of clicking. As soon as we got on the floor together, we had that chemistry that usually takes a training camp or some months to kind of put together. So for us to get it going right away, I felt that. I felt that that's what we needed and that's what we were missing. So to get that opportunity now, this year, obviously the sky's the limit. We have speed, we have shooting, we have ball handling, we have playmaking. Uh, we have it all. Um, now just trying to you know, get on the floor and start making it work. Just seeing AD and the way AD's you know, shooting the ball, as I've talked about on a podcast, and um, just the way he looks, uh, the determination that you know, he seems to have. What excites me the most is just seeing how talented we are and how deep we are at every position. And um, you've seen what we could do last year with a shorter period of time. So being able to have a fresh start with this team, you know, beginning of the season, going through training camp, going through preseason, and um, just seeing the talent that we have on this roster. It takes work. There's, like I said, there's no substitution for work, and we have to put in the work. And um, if, if we do that, we'll give ourselves a chance every single night to, to compete at the highest level. Every summer for me, it's always about my body, you know, trying to attack that form for myself and, and being the best physically sh physical shape that I can be in going into training camp or whatnot. Um, it started for me earlier this summer, you know, I had um, limited my travel. Um, I had a son, so I was at home a lot. Um, so I got to incorporate a, a working regiment sooner rather than later for, in the summer for me. So I think it was a success. Looking forward to this one for sure. Phil told me after the season, he, he said that, like, you know, I think uh, I should walk out with him, you know, this time as much possible. You know, I think it's going to help my games up, you know, bring my games up. You know, I call him my Daniel son, and I'm Mr. Miyagi. And, uh, you know, and, and I'm call him my understudy. I, gotta, I get him every single day, and we work every single day. Uh, whenever he's here or whenever he's travel, like, you know, walkouts, like, you know, I just kind of follow him, you know. And <laughs> I've said many a times that, you know, D'Lo was a big reason for, you know, me kind of making that jump, uh, you know, after the trade deadline, just the confidence that he brought to me. Uh, the, you know, freedom that he, you know, preaches you to play with that you can see the confidence that he has and that you know trickles off to everybody i try to do that right away let guys know that i'm i'm all about what you need from me um obviously i'm going to try to provide my own individual um aspects to the game and an approach but knowing that guys can 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 lean on me for whatever you need to be I mean, relevant in the game, you know? I think I have a little bit of a versatile skill set. I think I can play make. I think I can shoot the ball, space the floor. Um, I can think I can defend. So a lot of it, I think, will be just filling in the gap of what's needed. You know, I think it might be something different every night. You know, I think my role may be in flux or may be in motion, but, uh, you know, my role is to help this team win games at the end of the day. And it's going to keep it that simple. This is my hometown team. Uh, I'm from Long Beach. Uh, I grew up watching this team. I grew up watching Kobe Bryant, you know, so. This is where I want to be long term. Being um, who I am and knowing who I am and um, also knowing the dynamic of team and what it means to, to be a team guy, um, that brings me to, to, to perfecting the three-point shot, being a, being a cutter, being someone who can attack last second, shot clock, just being an all-around tool. I've gotten a lot stronger. I've put on a lot of mass. Um, and so being able to use you know, those things that I gained and the, those things that I added to my advantage, um, especially when it comes to finishing around the rim, I um, think that's one of the biggest things that I've been using, but I'd say um, finding ways to use my body in the correct way so that can benefit me uh, both offensively and defensively. I like playing defense. Uh, that's like something I really like to do. I, I mean, I don't mind switching on the guards. I don't mind having to guard the pain block shots. Well, definitely bringing that defensive presence, um, guarding you know, the best players on the, on the opposing team, and then being an offensive threat um, from all three, you know, being able to score from all three levels. I worked a lot on shooting, finishing you know, uh, ball handling, just pretty much touching up everything. And uh, as well as defensively, uh, getting stronger. Rookie year, I got out of here a lot faster. Uh, didn't have many people to talk to, not many pitchers. Um, definitely feels different, like you said, being in the pitch with, you know, Brian, AD, and then D-Lo. It looks like you've changed your body I, a no, little you know bit this happened? summer. I just, you know, this, this is what happened. So for some reason, Lakers people, the social media people, they decided to post the picture next to Brown 
you know, that was the problem. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I've definitely been very excited about this. Uh, I mean, grew up in like second grade, first grade, driving up from Cincinnati to Cleveland like four hours to go catch a game. Um, and now I'm on his team, so it's pretty exciting for sure. Uh, definitely haven't pictured a first lob yet, but I'm definitely excited to catch that first lob from him in game. I'm just more, a little more defined or more like, more like a basketball body, you know, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Look at me, look, you see? You know, in these team workouts and these group workouts that we're doing with groups of people, I think there's a lot of chemistry with everybody. You know, everybody knows their role and everybody wants to play their role to excellence. Um, and I think everybody knows that the, at the end of the day, we're trying to win a championship. Um, and so everybody's really getting along well. Everybody's got that one goal in mind. And so everybody together is making sure that we're doing the right things to attain that goal. To be a part of something special, what we have here uh, moving forward and being part of the future, you know, it's, it's, it's like I said, it's just a great feeling. You can tell there's a sense of closeness, especially with this returning group. Having that, you know, playoff push last year, Western Conference Finals, um, just getting that taste uh, is really, that's all you uh, you could really think about. I mean, for me, um, uh, especially, like I just want to get back to that point and more. Um, but I feel like we have an opportunity to do something special. We're back um, and it kind of gives us, you know, kind of a head start going to this season into camp to kind of build off what we left off last year. You know, we're all here for, for one common goal and, and, that's to, um, and that's to win a championship.